Uh, there's some smart people out there who have made some really smart phones. Uh, smartphones. I wonder what he's taking a picture of then. That guy over there is taking a picture of himself. I wonder he's taking a picture up, <laughs> up there, but he's not. My name is Andy Hornby, photographer and vlogger. 17 years ago I started teaching myself photography. Today I travel the UK as a professional wedding photographer, landscape photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, my mistakes and my tips and advice. Okay, I've uh, just got down to the beach and I'm going to film this video on my phone. So the audio isn't going to be fantastic. I'm quite close to sea as well, so you're going to hear that in the background. I do apologise. But it's quite pertinent to the video that I'm on my phone. Because this video is going to be about how phone technology is kind of catching up, if you like, to uh, your sort of DSLR mirrorless cameras and that whole argument is a massive argument and it is quite a valid one because I'm always asked especially on my photo walks if uh, people can come with their phones and I always say yeah you know for me it's always about getting the uh, the image you want to get it's not necessarily about the gear that you've got it is true that you know the DSLR cameras are probably gonna have a better sensor than your phone potentially some of the phones nowadays have got really good sensors. This has got a 12 megapixel camera on the front of it. And today is about whether I could take a picture on this phone to compete with my 2,000 pound camera with a 500 pound lens on the front of it. Uh, this is the Galaxy S8, which is a fairly good phone. The camera's really good, the video's really good. Uh, a few things to mention before we get into this. Phones nowadays, smartphones have really good cameras, but they also have really good software and really good al algorithms that, that help that software create an image in camera that our DSLRs and mirrorless cameras don't have. And it does a really good job, especially incorporating things like HDR directly into the image and into the video as well, that we just don't currently really have. You know, there's a lot of manual controls on your DSLR, your mirrorless, to get the same kind of effect in camera. So they've got a little bit of an advantage there. Uh, there's some smart people out there who've made some really smart phones, uh, smartphones, and you know it, it does a really good job with very little effort. You'll probably find with DSLR cameras, uh, you have to put a lot of work in to get you know the same kind of effect. On the flip side of that, sensors in your DSLR and your mirrorless cameras are much better. There's no denying that. If you pixel peep on the images that you get, you will notice a massive difference. The dynamic range on some of the, some of the, the full frame mirrorless cameras and DSLRs is horrendously good. The A7 III that I'm shooting on down there has got a really, really good dynamic range. So you're probably gonna see a very good uh, image being pulled out of something, you know, like in the shadows, you can pull the details out really easily. And I do it all the time. I'm shooting, I'm shooting directly into the sun at the moment. Uh, I'm doing a uh, time lapse of the uh, of the sun going down, and I know I can get the detail out of the pier that I'm shooting really easily. There's no problem with that whatsoever. I don't think we get a sunset anyway. To be honest with you, the sun's going down behind that dreaded band of cloud on the horizon. But we're going to get some good shots anyway. I'll still make a nice time lapse because the clouds potentially going to turn a nice nice colour. You just never know. So getting back to it, I've already taken some pictures uh, with my phone and my camera. And uh, the idea of this is whether you can tell the difference. And uh, maybe you can, maybe you can't, I don't know. The thing is, photographers recently, you know, as recent as a couple of years, have been getting really worried about phone technology taking over. And I think it's got a place. I use my phone quite a bit. My camera is obviously my main camera. I'm not gonna get away from that. If I want high-end pictures for a project, I'm going to use my camera, I'm not going to use my phone. The sensor on the phone isn't as good as the sensor in my camera, I've already mentioned that. And it is only 12 megapixels. But to be honest, what, 10 years ago, 12 megapixels was, was awesome for a camera. We had cameras coming out that were, that were only just hitting the 12 megapixels 10 years ago. So it's not really a bad thing, but it's whether it can compete with this. And in certain situations, yeah, actually I think it can. Those situations are for social media. Everything nowadays is done online. I post pictures to social media 
really quickly. I mean, I can do it for my camera really quick, get home and edit, and they'll be up fairly quickly. But to shoot something on your phone and edit on your phone and get straight onto social media, yeah, I think it's amazing. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I, I don't think we should just dismiss that uh, straight out of hand. There are people out there that will hate me for saying it, but I think camera phones have a place. And if you, if you don't realise that, you're going to be really upset in a few years' time when, when, when camera phones are doing what we can do you know a couple of years ago and they're catching up really quick so in a minute i'm going to set the pictures up i'm not going to tell you which ones are which uh, you can decide uh, i will let you into a secret if you look at my instagram over the last couple of weeks there's maybe one or two images on there two that uh were actually from my phone where i was driving to or or from work i saw a nice sunrise and a nice sunset and i didn't have my camera on me but what i did have is my phone in my pocket and it's always going to be the case so I see no reason to dismiss that <clears throat> and have a look back to my Instagram and see if you can spot them so yeah so here they come you decide and uh, before I go I just want to say thanks for watching I know the video quality on this isn't going to be fantastic uh, but I'm going to put it up anyway uh, good to have you on the video if you haven't subscribed already please do so and hopefully I'll see you in another I wonder what to take a picture of then that guy there is taking a picture of himself Send a picture up <laughs> up there, but he's not. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a new video. And uh, I hope to see you on another one uh, from South Sea Beach. I'm gonna get wet in a minute when that sea comes in. Uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Oh.